In this video, I will find the relation between bandwidth and quality factor in series RLC circuit or I can find the, the derivation for bandwidth and quality factor in series RLC circuit. We know that in series RLC circuit, the plot of current versus frequency looks like this. Here omega is known as angular frequency that is angular frequency which is measured as radians per second and f is nothing but frequency which, which, which is measured in hertz. So we can consider either angular frequency or frequency. As we know omega naught is the frequency when circuit is at resonance. So omega naught is known as resonant frequency or f naught is known as resonant frequency. So at resonant frequency maximum current flows into the circuit. So maximum current is represented as I naught. So at resonance I can say at resonance the impedance in the circuit is that is the impedance impedance of the circuit is nothing but Z is equal to R that is impedance is same as the resistance that is Z is equal to R. So here let me consider the I naught by root 2 that is when current has fallen fallen to I naught by root 2 the frequency obtained is represented as W1, W2 or F1, F2. These two frequencies are known as half power frequencies. So now at half power frequencies the impedance of the circuit is represented as that is at half power frequencies at half power frequencies the impedance of the circuit is given by R is equal to XL minus XC. Let me call it as equation 1. Now here we can see that W1 or F1 is known as lower cutoff frequency. W2 or F2 is known as upper cutoff frequency. So now at omega 1 or F1 in series RLC circuit we know that the capacitive reactance Xc is greater than Xl. Similarly at omega 2 or F2 that is at upper cutoff frequency that is at omega 2 or F2 inductive reactance Xl will be greater than Xc. So we know that Xl is equal to omega L and Xc is nothing but 1 upon omega C that is Xl is equal to omega L and Xc is equal to 1 upon omega C. So therefore now at omega 1 Xc is greater than Xl then equation 1 can be written as that is at omega 1 or F1 R is equal to Xc minus Xl or I can write it as 1 upon so this will be nothing but 1 upon omega 1c x is nothing but 1 upon omega 1c minus omega 1 omega 1 l or I can represent the same equation as that is r is equal to 1 upon omega 1c minus omega 1 l I can represent it as minus r is equal to so this will become plus this will become minus that is omega 1 L minus 1 upon omega 1 C. I will call it as equation 2. Similarly at omega 2 or F2 as I said here at omega 2 XL is greater than XC. So in that case equation 1 can be written as R is equal to XL minus XC because XL is dominant here which is equal to omega 2 L because we are considering frequency omega 2 minus 1 upon omega 2c. So this I will represent it as r is equal to we have 
omega 2 l minus 1 upon omega 2 c call it as equation 3 now let me add equation 2 and 3 that is adding 2 and 3 we get so by adding minus r plus r it will be 0 so left hand side it is 0 is equal to here we have omega 1 l minus 1 upon omega 1 c plus omega 2 l minus 1 upon omega 2 c or I can represent it as I will take this 1 upon omega 1 c 1 upon omega 2 c on other side it will be 1 upon omega 1 c plus 1 upon omega 2 c is equal to we have omega 1 l plus omega 2 l or further I can simplify this as I will take 1 upon c common here that is 1 upon c so in bracket we will get 1 upon omega 1 plus 1 upon omega 2 1 upon omega 1 plus 1 upon omega 2 is equal to here I will take L common that is L in bracket we have omega 1 plus omega 2 simplifying this I can write 1 upon omega C here I can take the LCM omega 1 omega 2 it will be omega 1 plus omega 2 is equal to L we have omega 1 plus omega 2 or I can simplify this as omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by omega 1 omega 2 is equal to I'll send this c on other side it will be l c omega 1 plus omega 2 so further by simplifying I can get omega 1 plus 2 and omega 1 plus omega 2 will get cancelled we will get 1 upon omega 1 omega 2 is equal to l c or we can write 1 over LC is equal to omega 1 omega 2. Let me call it as equation 4. Now subtracting equation 3, equation 2 from equation 3 we get so let me subtract equation 2 from equation t 3 that is we will get on LS, left hand side we will get r minus of minus r it will be 2r that is r minus of minus r is equal to we have omega 2l minus 1 upon omega 2c that is omega 2l minus 1 upon omega 2c minus we have omega 1 l minus 1 upon omega 1 c that is minus 1 upon we have omega 1 l minus 1 upon omega 1 c so simplifying this r minus of minus r it will be 2 r is equal to omega 2 l minus 1 upon omega 2 c minus omega 1 l plus 1 upon omega 1 c or I can simplify this as 2 r is equal to we have omega 2 l minus omega 1 c minus one upon omega 2 c plus one upon omega 1 c or I can represent it as 2 r is equal to this is omega 1 l I'll take l common here it will be omega 2 minus omega 1 here I'll take plus 1 over c it will be 1 upon omega 1 minus 1 upon omega 2 further I can simplify this as 2 r is equal to l omega 2 minus omega 1 plus 1 over c so here I'll take the LCM that is omega 1 omega 2 here it will be omega 2 minus omega 1 so let me call it as equation 5 now divide 
equation phi by L on both side on both sides so I can write it as 2r by L 2r divided by L is equal to here we have L by L L by L we have omega 2 minus omega 1 similarly plus here we have 1 over LC 1 upon LC and in bracket we have omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by omega 1 omega 2 or further I can simplify this as 2R by L is equal to here it is omega 2 minus omega 1 plus 1 over LC so here we have omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by so as we know omega 1 omega 2 is nothing but 1 upon LC so I can substitute here omega 1 omega 2 as 1 upon LC so further I can simplify this as 2R by L is equal to here we have omega 2 minus omega 1 plus so this LC will go on numerator that LC LC will get cancelled so we will get omega 2 minus omega 1 or simplify this as 2R by L is equal to here we have 2 omega 2 minus omega 1 or I can write it as R by L is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1. Now we know that quality factor Q is equal to omega naught L by R or I can represent it as Q R is equal to omega naught L or we can write it as R by L is equal to omega naught by q so therefore here we can see that r by l is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 so therefore i can write omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to omega naught by q we can write it as q is equal to omega naught divided by omega 2 minus omega 1 or i can write it as f naught divided by f2 minus f1 or we can write q is equal to f0 or omega0 is nothing but resonant frequency that is f0 divided by f2 minus f1 or omega2 minus omega1 is nothing but bandwidth or we can write resonant frequency divided by bandwidth so this is the relation between quality factor and bandwidth that is quality factor is inversely proportional to bandwidth thank you for watching